So these are some of the real drugs we're testing. Against. In a lab on the outskirts of Oxford, the drug hunters are taking on COVID-19. With the help of artificial intelligence, they're scanning a back catalogue of 12,000 chemical compounds for possible activity against the virus. The results are instant, a deep blue, a signal of a possible match. The drugs have already been investigated for other diseases and past initial safety studies repurposed for the coronavirus. Scientists will be able to skip forward to trials in patients in a matter of months. There is a lot to learn and the fastest we can uh, target different protein and try which one is the right one, which one we need to target to develop a treatment against COVID-19, the better. Hospital trials of existing antiviral treatments in coronavirus patients have so far proved disappointing. But the Accenture scientists are confident that a drug designed for a completely unrelated disease might by chance have the right structure to also stop the coronavirus in its tracks. The scientists here are hoping to find a drug that hits the coronavirus where it's most vulnerable. That might be the protein it needs to get inside cells, or it could be the proteins it needs to make copies of itself. If they find a good match, it could prevent the catastrophic damage being done inside patients' lungs. The drug hunt is being accelerated by Britain's most powerful microscope, a loop more than three times the size of Wembley Stadium that generates a beam of light 10 billion times brighter than the sun. It allows scientists to see individual atoms, with the drug highlighted in colour locking on to the virus. It should be possible to design the perfect match and stop the virus in its tracks. They call it the Covid moonshot. Here we have a view of one of the components of the virus. Um, that is the active site where it does the actual work. And what we are trying to do in all drug discovery projects is to find a, a compound that we can stick in there and essentially block it from doing its reactions. We call it gunking up the works. It used to take a decade to develop a new medicine, but the urgency of the pandemic and the lack of a vaccine is driving innovation and could result in effective treatment faster than ever before. Thomas More, Sky News.